So in this question, we're asked to solve this inequality. 19 plus x is greater than 15 plus 3 lots of x minus 2. So let's get rid of the brackets on the right-hand side. Now, we need to be careful about what's actually outside these brackets. It's just the plus 3 term. 15 does not get multiplied out over the brackets. So it's plus 3 times x and 3 times the negative 2, negative 6. And we can tidy up the right-hand side a little. 15 minus 6 will give us 9. Now, there's several paths we could take at this stage. I'm going to choose not to have a negative number in front of the x. So I'm looking at this and saying, well, if I take away x from both sides, then that'll avoid getting a negative number of x's. So on the left-hand side, we're left with this 19. x has disappeared. x away from x is 0. The 9 is untouched. x away from 3x is 2x. And now that leaves us in a position where we can take 9 from both sides and 9 from 19 gives us 10. That 9 has disappeared. 9 from 9 is 0 and we've got a 2x. So we've got 10 greater than 2x. And let's divide both sides by 2, which still keeps the inequality sign the same way around, because we're dividing by a positive number. 2 into 10 is 5, greater than 2 into 2x, half of 2x is 1x. So the 2's cancel there. Now, if 5 is larger than all the numbers x that solve this inequality, then all these numbers will be less than 5. We can rewrite this inequality the other way around. We usually write these inequalities with the variable, with the x, with the letter at the beginning. So that's one method. There is an alternative at this stage where uh, we choose to keep the letters on the left and the numbers on the right. And if we're doing that, we would be subtracting 3x from both sides uh, as a first step and that would leave the 19 untouched x minus 3x is minus 2x the 9 has not been altered 3x away from 3x is 0 and then at this stage we'd say well 19 needs disappeared so we take away 19 from both sides of the inequality. So 19 from 19 is 0. That leaves us with negative 2x. 19 away from 9 is negative 10. For that one, think of the number line. And if you're at 9 and you take away 19, you'll end up at negative 10. Remember, this is paper 1 with no calculators. Now, at this stage, we need to get rid of this negative 2 times x, and we'll do the opposite of multiplying by negative 2. We'll divide by negative 2, and we do that to both sides of the inequality. However, look at the case where, for instance, uh, 3 is greater than 2, and if we divide by negative 1, negative 3 is not greater than negative 2. Negative 3 is less than negative 2. So in the case of dividing both sides of an inequality by a negative number, this inequality sign has to be turned round. Otherwise you won't have a true statement. So when I divide both sides here by negative 2, we must turn this inequality statement round. Turn it, change it from a greater than sign to a less than sign. Now, negative 2's cancel there, giving us 1x. That's why we divided both sides by negative 2. And negative 10 divided by negative 2 will be positive 5. And again, we get the same result as before. x is less than 5. 
So two ways of doing it, one avoiding a negative in front of the X and the other letters on the left, numbers on the right.